Hello, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be giving each player a unique ID. Um, they do already have a UUID, a Universal Unique Identifier, but it's a big weird number. So we're just going to give them one using a scoreboard. Nice and simple. Let's create an objective. Create objective. And we will do scoreboard, objectives, add, uh, let's just call it ID, because that makes sense. And it's going to be a dummy. Do, don't forget to add it. There we go. And then we're going to have a little controller. Boink, boink. We'll put that on there. This will be our controller that assigns IDs. Done. Okay, in the first one. Uh, it needs redstone, yeah, because I've got a lever. And we are going to scoreboard players add for all players their ID and we're going to add naught or zero if you prefer zero. Uh, that means everyone's going to have at least a score of naught. So if they log in and they haven't got a score, now they have naught. If they already had a score of one, well, it's going to stay one because we're only adding naught. So done. And then here we are going to execute at, and we'll just do the nearest player whose scores equals ID equals naught. And what we want to do is we want to give them a score. Scoreboard players add. Now we're going to have a fake player here. And we're going to call them next ID, ID one. So if we find a player, so we find the nearest player, he's got a score of zero. Then we're going to add one to the fake player next ID score. Okay, done. Then we'll go in here and we will scoreboard players at P, oh, scoreboard players operation at P scores equals ID equals zero. So we're going back to that nearest player with a score of zero again, and we're going to say their ID equals fake players ID. Okay, done. So we add zero. So the that means at least they've got a score of zero if they had no score at all. Then we increment next ID fake players ID number. And then we give that ID to the players. So let's turn that on. So I should have an ID number now. Let's do scoreboard objectives set display on the sidebar ID. So I've got a score of one. Now that next person that logs in should get a score of two. So I can simulate that. If I reset my score, scoreboard, players, set, at P, me, ID. So if I set my score to zero, that's effectively make me a new player. I then get two and then someone else logs in, they get three, someone else logs in, they get four and so on and so on and so on. There we go. So we've given each player their own little number. That's good if you want to link them to entities and things like that, just to check who owns something. Nowadays with 1.1, 9.4 and higher, I think you can do uh, owner and find out who actually owns something or who threw something, which is handy. But if you just want to give a little simple ID for each player, this will do the job for you. It's better to do it in a data pack, but we don't cover data packs in this series yet. And if you want to look for a little bit more information on it, I will pop a post down into the description, which you can check out. Okay, just a quick one. How to give each player a unique ID. See you later. Bye.